music producers is Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com and today I want to show you how I sample my drum loops whenever I want to turn them things into one shots. Let's take a quick break. Music producers, I don't know how you sample your drum loops, but I have many different techniques. I'm gonna show you two techniques specifically today. I've been sampling drum loops since the first time that I started using FL Studio. When my mom found out I wanted to be a producer and I transitioned from a PlayStation, she was like, son, I'm gonna get you something for Christmas. And sure enough, my mama did. I love my mama, man. Shout out to moms. Shout out to the queen, though. Anyways, one Christmas, she got me these drum loops from Guitar Center. They was, it was cool. She ain't know no better. And so I had to learn from a very early stage how to sample drum loops and how to get individual sounds. Like sometimes I may just like a bongo roll inside of a drum loop, which I'm gonna show you how to do today. And never has it been easier to do this. Now I'm gonna show you first of all, my process that I've been using from the jump. And then I'm gonna show you a program that is going to blow your frickety dickety mind once you get into it and understand what it's all about called regroover. So first and foremost, let me show you the Curtis King way of taking these drum loops and getting individual sounds. For those that are wondering, I use FL Slicer. I know there's an FL Slicer X. I haven't really got into what I heard. There's a lot of great features in it. That's cool. I like what I like and I've been using it. I'm a dinosaur when it comes to that. Anyways, here's how I would use a drum loop. Let's go ahead and take one from my drum kit, Big Drums Knock Volume 2. And mind you, FL Slicer comes with every copy of FL Studio, so you don't have to go ahead and purchase that. So before I actually drag my drum loop over into FL Slicer, there's a few things I need to do first. It has a few presets that I like to take off, like the de-click, the auto-fit, and the auto-dump. If you don't take those off, it's gonna manipulate the sound, and it's also gonna take every single slice that it auto-generates for you, and it's gonna just lay it all across this particular pattern. That's not what you wanna do. What I do is I take this drum loop, Drag it over here, right here to the center. Boom. Now it's automatically chopping it up for you. Now these chops are a little bit ridiculous right now. And I'm triggering these from the MIDI keyboard, mind you. So if you want the auto slice to work a little bit more accurately to your liking, go over here to the slicing menu. And then you can do it slicing according to beat, half beat, or you can even do some of the auto slicing like dull, medium. Let's do a dull and see what that is. Cool, so now we're getting a better idea what we got. Now, if there's an individual sound we find in here, like I want this snare without that little bell at the end of it, all I gotta do is go up here in this preview menu, right click, and then split. Now I have an individual sound. Now there's something else in here that I wanna grab, which is the bongos. It sounds really special when if I didn't actually create this, I wouldn't know where this bongo came from. But say I wanted to take this sound, so then from there, you can repurpose this drum loop however you want to your liking. Like I can take these individual sounds and basically go into the piano roll. And then from there, you can manipulate some other things. Like say for instance, you wanna take the pitch down. You go ahead and take the pitch wheel down. Also too, over here, you can stretch it out. You can make it go faster by going down on this particular knob and slower by going up on the knob. But let me share with you the second way that you can go into these drum loops and take individual sounds. And thanks to our sponsor today, Akunis, who make a program called Regroover. Get prepared to have your mind blown. So they have a program called Regroover Pro. And basically Regroover Pro is a program that will take a loop and split it into individual sounds for you. Instead of doing it the individual way I did it, the way that I did it, there's certain instruments that I wish I only got the kick and not the bell that's underneath the kick. And this program basically guarantees that if I want to get that bongo roll or that kick, it'll separate the other sounds that are on top of that. What? What kind of artificial intelligence is this? And when I read it, I was like, what the hell? Y'all playing, stop playing with me. And then I tried it out. So when you first open up Regroover, it's gonna be like any other VST. You're gonna go ahead and open this up. Once it's open, it's gonna ask you to drop your clip right here in the middle. So I'm gonna take the same drum loop we were working with and drag it to the middle. 
So after it's finished analyzing, look what the hell it just did. It just separated every single sound within the drum loop, fam. So before we play the individual sounds, there's a few things I wanna bring your attention to. At the top here, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that there has a host button and a play button. Now, if you want these drum loops to go according to your parameters up here, your play button and your stop, then you're gonna keep that on host. But if you wanna play it individually within this VST, you're gonna take that off. Also too, the sync button, this actually will sync this loop automatically for you to your project tempo. And let me replay the loop for you as it's just restructured it for me. You can't tell me that ain't the craziest damn thing you've seen all week. I'm still tripping out. So when I first heard it, you probably heard what I heard. Some of the sounds don't sound 100% accurate. Like there's certain frequencies that just don't belong when it's separating the snare. Whatever artificial intelligence voodoo that they are doing, I don't know, but this is the way that you go ahead and EQ these sounds to your liking. So say for instance, I wanna take this bongo sound that's within this loop. All I gotta do is this, take these particular loop points, find it, loop around it, Push play, solo it. If you look over here to the right side, it has a built-in effects panel that allows you to manipulate this sound. So it has a gate feature, it has an EQ feature, it has a compressor feature, it has a saturation feature. First thing first, let's go to the gating sound and see what we can do with this. With the gating, we can basically take out some of those sounds in the background if they don't meet a certain threshold. So let's try that out. Next thing, we're gonna change the EQing since we definitely want that mid and high frequency within this. You can manipulate that stuff right here. Next, you got your compressor tab. It actually has like sort of an auto threshold feature according to the compression that was done to your loop. So you don't have to do too much here, but let's check it out. We're probably gonna change the attack on this. The next tab is saturation. This is how we're gonna give this sound a little bit of flavor, a little bit of color, a little bit of life. So we're basically gonna take this transient up and down and kind of mess around with this. Now, once we have that sound, we're gonna double click here on this section. And I'm gonna show you a few different things you can do with this. Now, based upon this loop, I can do one of two things. I can drag this directly into my FL Studio playlist, or I can use sort of their expansion kit feature that's kind of like a drum pad within the actual program. But say I wanna just take this individual sound, all I gotta do is after I highlight it, go down here, hold down the left clicker, let it process, and then drag this thing right here into the playlist, boom. Bruh. <laughs> and mind you, you can do the same thing for every one of these sounds. Like say for instance, I want to change this kick. And then just drag it all here into the playlist. And all of a sudden, I got a kick that I can go in there and manipulate. Now, obviously I'm looking at this technology and I'm like, I think it may still have some development to go, but from how it's just working right now, I've never seen anything like this. I think this is super freaking dope to be able to separate the frequencies of these sounds. And I'm seeing how I can manipulate different loops and use them to my advantage, depending on what sounds I want from some of these loops, especially now that I'm on splice and I get these loops all the time. There's certain sounds that I'm like, man, you know what? That little snare roll, that's fire. 
But I don't like the kick and hi hats that you got behind that. Can I have that snare and not hear the hi hat? Can I have it? Can I have it? And so now what I can basically do instead of just taking that sound and having to compensate it through EQing, Regroover does that for me, plus has additional features within the EQ to make it even more realistic. I would definitely be interested in seeing how it develops over time. But look, I just showed you two different ways to get one shots from your favorite drum loops. You pick which poison, you pick which one you like. If you're interested in Regroover, though, go to the description below. I got a special link for you to get you 10% off. Either way, I hope this video helped you today. Please ride you Hadouken, my like button, and subscribe to the channel. Once again, this is Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com. Peace. Please subscribe to the channel below, CurtisKingCurtisKingBeats.com.